Welcome back everyone. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking and in this video we're going to look at haptics. And haptics is just a very fancy word for vibrations. Because in iOS applications, when a user clicks something or gets an error message, you can add vibrations to the device. This is not technically a Swift UI component. It's really just a Swift component, but I wanted to walk you guys through it, of course, because vibrations or haptics are very common and it adds a really nice user experience to your application with just a couple extra lines of code. So in this quick video, we're just gonna very, very quickly look at some of the different default vibrations that we can add to our application. So overall, the code for this is very, very simple. This video should be pretty short. Uh, but I do need to note that to test the vibrations, you're going to need to run the app on an actual device. Because if you run it on a simulator, obviously you won't be able to feel the vibration. All right, so I'm um, back in our Xcode project as always. This is going to be another really quick video. And before we begin, I just want to quickly point out that in the last video, we did the sounds bootcamp where we covered adding sounds into our project. And in that, we added our first singleton, which I have right here. And we're going to add another singleton in this video. Uh, in the last video, which I'll link below, I discussed what exactly a singleton is in detail. I'm not going to do it again, so you can go watch that one if you're confused with this line of logic. If not, let's go ahead and get started by right-clicking on the navigator, creating a new file. This one will be a Swift UI view, and let's call this haptics. Bootcamp. Go ahead and click create. Uh, once you're inside, click resume on the canvas. So to get started, we're going to create a singleton class. So let's create a class. Let's call this haptic manager. And let's open the brackets. In this class, we'll create a static let instance equals haptic manager and we'll initialize it here. This is our singleton. And very simply, and we're going to create two very simple functions in this manager. Uh, the first one, let's call func notification. Open and close parentheses, open the brackets. And the second one we'll call func impact. Open and close parentheses, open the brackets. And we're separating this into two different functions because, because the built-in haptics are actually separated this way. So in the first notification, let's say let generator equals, and I'm going to start typing notification generator, and it's called the UI notification feedback generator. And we will initialize one, and then we will call generator dot and notification occurred is the function to actually make the phone vibrate when this gets called. So I'm going to click enter here and, and this expects a type and that needs to be a UI notification generator dot feedback type. So I'm going to hit enter on that. I'm just going to actually cut that. I'm going to pass that into our function. So I'll say type of type UI notification generator feedback dot feedback type. Then I'll take our type and then just pass that in here. Okay, and then secondly, we're going to say let generator equals uh, impact G UI impact feedback generator. Then we'll open the parentheses here and then there is a style. This style needs to be of type UI impact generator dot feedback style. So I'm going to hit enter and just cut this. And I'm going to pass this in here. We'll say style and we'll pass in the UI impact generator feedback style. And we'll take our parameter of style and just pass it into this function. And then we just need to call generator dot impact occurred. And that will make this vibration happen. So in your actual app, you could kind of combine these two. If you want to make your own custom enum to to include all of the feedback types and feedback styles, but we're just going to separate it out for now. And that's pretty much all the code we need to get vibrations or haptics working in our app. So let's just run through all of these test cases now. And in our view, let's just create a very simple V stack spacing of maybe 20, open the brackets. And we're just going to create very simple buttons here. I will open the parentheses. Let's use the string protocol and action. 
And I'll just leave this as a blank string for now. Well, let's hit enter on this action here. And we're just going to call this instance and then call the notification function. So we'll call haptic manager dot instance dot notification. And when I click the period here, we can see all of our notification types. Uh, that's this feedback type that we have up here. And these feedback types are basically just default vibrations that Apple gives us that we can use. And you've probably felt all of these before if you use an iPhone. Uh, so I definitely recommend using these if you are creating a vibration uh, for a success or an error. These are just the perfect, easy, simple way to go. And let's start out with the success. And I'm actually just going to make this onto one line just to keep our code a little shorter for now because that's all of the code. And let's just copy this and paste it two more times. The second one, let's make it a warning. The third one will do error. Let's just copy this type and just make that the button title as well, just so we can see the difference when we are testing it out. And then I'm going to add a divider. And then we're going to do essentially the same thing. I'll do a button and the string protocol, blank string, press enter on the action, but this time let's use the impact. So haptic manager dot instance dot impact and press the period. We can see all of our options. Let's do soft first. I'm going to put this also on one line just to make the code a little shorter. Copy this, paste it five times. We will do soft, we'll do light, we'll do medium, we'll do rigid and heavy. Just make these are the button titles as well. And almost done here. Let's click resume on the canvas. And now we have our very simple vibrations, which honestly was just a very few, like three, four lines of code. And if we press play, we can click on all of our buttons and the device will actually vibrate. Now, of course you can't feel the vibrate if we're using the canvas, but if you want to plug your iPhone into your computer, you can then click on the devices in the top left and there will be a little, your device will pop up up here with your iPhone. You can click that. And then of course, make the haptics bootcamp be the first, be the first screen in your app. And then you can click that play button and get this to actually build. And if you were to run this on an actual device, you, when you click these, you would feel all of the different vibrations. Now I do want to mention here that there are ways to create your own custom vibrations, uh, but I definitely recommend going with these pre-made options because these encompass a pretty wide range of vibrations and usually using like the success or this error is more than sufficient for what you're looking for. Now you know how to add quick little vibrations to your app. You can use this reusable class across your entire app, which is nice and efficient. And adding a quick little vibration is just a great user experience that you can add with just a few lines of code. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.